Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Come and see FFK talk down on Tinubu. He says, what is he doing that is special there? There's really nothing special he's doing there. The Tinubu's achievement you are talking about are things that previous administration could have achieved in years. You know, Femi Fanikayo denied it. talk this one. Say, so there's nothing special. Don't think that um, he has done one thing, you know, beyond the sky, beyond the heavens that people are celebrating and jubilating and shouting all about. That there's really nothing so special about what Tinobu has done or whatever he's doing. And so people should uh, you know, understand it that there is nothing there. Wow. So people say not bad below say FFK in the verse. So they're not giving appointments. We say really they say yes. So say not be smart say they apple to FFK. So, so FFK they feel say you know he should have been made a minister, being that he has been the minister of evasion before. At least Tinubu you know, should have given him something. After all, first of Keyamu got something before him. He was just dished, you know, and left all alone. You know, they say about it Tinubu. Which one are they Tinubu do for the? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Tinubu achievement is nothing so significant to be celebrated all about ffk bash tinobu says the previous administration could have achieved this in years but they refused and they refused to do what they should do the former minister of aviation femi fani kayode has bashed blasted bola met tinobu over the achievements made in the last few days following the trip to india and for g20 summit Saying these are things that previous administrations should have been able to put in place if they were ready. For instance, Muhammad Buhari, if he was ready to work for Nigerians, would have done some of these things. Take, for instance, the report that Tinubu stopped at the United Arab Emirates, UAE, on Monday and met with the country's president, Mohammed. After the meeting between the two heads of state, the UAE lifted the ban the visa ban placed on Nigerian travelers after almost one year and ordered immediate reinstatement of flight activities. This is something that happened in Buhari's administration. If Buhari had been forthcoming and proactive, he would have visited and sorted it with just one, full, with just one visit, having, a, having drinks and discussing this. But he, he was laid back. In the post, Femi Fani Kayode commended Tinubu for the outing in India, which he claimed has attracted billions of dollars in Nigerians' investment and ensured the lifting of the visa ban after the visit to UAE. The APC chieftain stated that the president also ensured the, resol the resolution of trapped emirate funds at the central bank and flight, and flight routes between UAE and Nigeria. According to Femi Fani Kayode, Tinubu's achievement in the past few days are what the past administration could have could not achieve in years of negotiation if they had been serious, steadfast, and ready to work for Nigeria. These things would have been settled. He wrote, in the last few days, our president has placed Nigeria back at the center stage of international affairs, where she rightly belongs. After a fantastic outing in India at the G20 summit, which has attracted billions of dollars in investment in our country, and where he rightly told our world leaders that they cannot be without Nigeria, he went to the UAE and not only ensured that visa ban on Nigerians was lifted, but also ensured the resolution to the trapped Emirate Fund at Central Bank and the issue of flight routes and air travel between our two countries. All these achievements in a matter of few days, these are things that the previous administration could not achieve in years. Buhari especially was laid back. This is something he would have done if he was, if he was proactive and was ready to work for the country. This happened over a year ago and could have been sorted if it, was, if it meant to him and what Nigerians could achieve was paramount in his mind. But no, I'm truly proud of Tinubu. Although this is what others could have achieved and would have moved on from here and be doing other things. He did well. Great, uh, great leader and um, will also revive the politics in Africa. Those who are fighting him are fighting him for nothing. So this is our brother. Uh, he has come out to tell us exactly, you know, how he feels and how, you know, he, first of all, he first bashed Tinubu saying, there's nothing there, Jari, but later I come prison. 
So not be smarty, you do so. So not be smarting. He still blasts Buhari join and was say Buhari on too much. Say Buhari would have been able to do what he needed to do. But guess what? Buhari was not ready. To be candid between you and I, Buhari was not ready to do any single thing. No, not Buhari. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Not at all. Buhari was just there like a figure of speech. You know, a figure of speech. Uh -huh. Now for emphasis, say they get president, but you know they do anything. Uh -huh. You know, all the when you read, when you do in English, the way they go say, you know, how you observe this, you observe. Uh -huh. But not be saying that one thing in particular is not only, it's not just, it's not the only element that communicate the message, just that it had to be there exactly. Let me say, well, this things have been sorted. If we had leaders who are proactive, who were ready to work, or well, people that we had were bombs, they were not ready. They were just there, fig figure, uh, figure heads. They were not ready to, to you know, to, to put their hands in the mud and get the job done. And, you know, say Tenubu come, within a few days, they don't get this done. So he's making Tenubu shine like, a, you know, a hero. You know, he can't say Tenubu don't do it, you know, going to India and the rest. Buhari, say Buhari, Buhari ke. You know, APC no say Buhari fail, but they cannot say it with their mouth. And they know. Even the North, now they know pass. Say, uh uh. But guess what? You know the word they call sentiment is what has killed Nigeria like no other. We hear people we are at a time, Nigerians were saying, can we remove the Buhari? People should replace. Say, no, it is the time of the North. You will have to, you will have to live with it. Hmm? Take the chill pill, go and sleep. Let him do whatever he, he does. Even if he pulls the country and shift it into the lagoon, it's fine. It is the north. It is the time of the north. I saw they talk. They not agree. They not agree. Rise up with other Nigerians in the face of all that Buhari was doing. The north will not. They will not budge to say, okay, let's get this guy off, and let's get those who can get the job done into the into the right place. They say no. Leave her like that. Leave him there. You know, these are some of the things, you know, sentiment and all that that have killed the nation in no small way. So if there's any time in our history, we everybody needs to rise up and ensure that, you know, we rise up for what is right, for what is truthful, for what is honest and sincere. Is now or never. Uh -huh. Now, so please leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, say you get voice so. And if we keep quiet, we'll not speak when we should speak. So people will take advantage of us, which we don't want, do we? I guess that answer is no. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us. It's bye for now. Bye-bye.